In this video, I'm going to create a simple drawing application. So I already have XAMPP installed, so I'm going to go to htdocs, and I'm going to create a new folder. And I'll call this Simple Draw. And inside of Simple Draw, I'll create a new file. And I'll call that simpledraw.html. And then I'm going to edit this in Notepad++. So let's start sketching out uh, an HTML file. And my body is just going to have a canvas in it. And I'll go ahead and put a width of 600 and a height of 400 to start. And I'll end my body and I'll end my HTML. And now just to see if everything's working, I'm going to put an onload on my body tag that's going to call redraw. So now I need some JavaScript. And I'm going to declare my function redraw. And what it's going to do is start by getting the canvas. And then it's going to get the drawing context for the canvas. And I'm going to be doing 2D drawing. And then I want to fill a rectangle. So the way you do that is context.fillRect and you give it x, y, and then the width, which is canvas.width, and a height, which is canvas.height. And then this will fill the area with whatever color is currently set on the context. So if I want to fill this with red, for example, then I need to set the context dot fill style equal and then I'll just use the HTML color name red. And I think that should be everything. So let me go ahead and save it and we'll see if it works so far. And it did. So I have red and let's try aqua. Great. So now what I want to do though is instead of having a fixed size canvas, um, I want to first get rid of this margin and then I want to have my canvas fill the entire screen and when the user resizes, it should resize the canvas as well. So in addition to just drawing the rectangle, let me draw a border around it too. So context. Stroke rect? I think it's stroke rect. And uh, let me reload, see if I got anything. Good. Okay, so now I have a border around there. So let's change our body. So I'm going to set a style on here. And the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the margin. And then I also want to not have scroll bars. So I'm going to get rid of the scroll bars as well. And then 
instead of calling redraw, I'm going to call resize. So let's go ahead and define a resize function. So let's get our canvas again. And here what I want to do is set the canvas.width equal to window.innerWidth, so the drawable area. And do the same thing with the height. And that should change my canvas size. So then every time I change the size, I always want to redraw my image. Okay, so this should cause it to resize when the program starts, but then I also want it to get resized every time there's a resize event. So I want to attach an event listener to my main window so that every time the window is resized, the window calls back my resize function. So window add event listener, and I'm listening for resize events. And I'm calling the resize function when that happens. And I'm going to pass in false. And then let's see what happens. Good. So I see my border. And if I resize, I still see my border. So it's resizing correctly. So that looks pretty good.